So the first article we'll be discussing today is titled, Why Wouldn't a Loving God Want to Make Us Just Like Him? So the the lead on it is, if God is a truly loving Father who wants the very best for us, wouldn't God want us to make us into gods just like Him? I've heard this quite a bit with the uh, father son metaphor, where you know, what, if you have ch- children and you you want them, what's what's best for them, uh, you want them to mature into adulthood. Why wouldn't analogously God want that for us? What's your answer to that? Well, it's interesting. That particular question was raised to me by an LDS pen pal that I've acquired since I I put out advertising on the book and I get this stranger writing to me. And uh, we're all often trading um, things back and forth. And he he posed this question, you know, if we got... uh, um, His viewpoint is that God, uh, you know, uh, the whole um, system of gods and goddesses, uh, human beings are and God are the same species, basically. Mm-hmm. And so, therefore, hey, if we are truly God's children, which they take in a very literal sense that uh, God is the father of our spirits and God produced them, and that's so if we're God's in embryo, well then, gee, why, why wouldn't God want us to become all, all that he is? And I had uh, uh, I had to think. They forced me to think, as often uh, these exchanges force me to think. One of the things I said to to my friend is, becoming a god is not comparable to becoming like your dad. You know, he he appealed to me. Hey, you're a pastor. Wouldn't you want your your uh, your son to be able to preach just like you? And like I, I said, it's not the same thing. We are not. Uh, and it's uh, the the. The LDS Church is the only place on the uh, the only religion, uh, only the- theistic religion out there that doesn't understand that. I mean, not only do all Christian denominations agree that God belongs on the pedestal and we will never belong on on a pedestal, uh, but you know, even the even the Muslims, the um, the Jews, uh, anyone who's a theist or even deist gets that. Yeah, it seems the analogy doesn't work really well from the fact that I'm not my kid's God. Uh, I, and I don't want my children to relate to me like I'm their God. I don't want them to submit to, to me like I'm their God. Rather, I'm a, I'm a subordinate authority. I'm under God, and I have uh, delegated or subordinate authority over my children. Um, I don't have inherent divine authority over my children. And the other uh, dissimilarity is that I don't want my children to be just like me, I want them to be better than I am. <laughs> I want my children uh, to uh, be a much better person than I ever was and, and succeed where I haven't. Well, as I mentioned in the article, the great, it's the great theologian Catherine Hobson, my wife, <laughs> who, uh, who came up with the thought that, hey, if, you, um, if we become gods, then uh, and you add in all the ancestors of God, all of a sudden the, the realm that, heavenly father rules keeps shrinking Mm 